welcome back to the shop my friends we are continuing the steering episodes we are on episode three now We're working on the drag link that connects the bell crank to the steering box once that is installed so now it's time to dig in our part box here and take out what we need to rebuild the drag link we need the drag link repair kit, which we have gotten from Joe's Motor Pool. And we also need the pitman arm, which will connect to the steering box and the drag link. And I'll take you guys over to the workstation and we'll go through all the parts and rebuild the drag, drag link and install it. We are now going to rebuild the drag link with all its parts. This right here is the physical drag link. This is the pitman arm and that's the rebuild kit. And I'll show you guys how it is put together. We also are going to use this maintenance manual and go through how to properly build it. This is a universal Jeep model CJ2A maintenance manual it's very good and it goes through in great detail of how to rebuild everything we are now going to use the maintenance manual and go through the steps how to rebuild the drag link and there's a few pictures in here that will make it easier to explain we'll open it up to page 102 and at the very top here there is a picture of the actual drag link there's a few components to it and quite a few different pieces so on the left here, this side right here, will attach to the bell crank and while the right side will attach to the pitman arm. There really isn't much different between the two sides. It's just where the spring is placed. On the left side, the spring is placed further in to the drag link. On the right side is further out as there's two spacers here and then the spring. At the very bottom here, there is the steering connecting rod description. It just goes through how to tighten the physical ball joint. Basically, it just says screw in plug firmly against the ball, then back off one half turn and lock with new cotter pin inserted through holes in tube and slot in adjusting plug. And this goes for both ball joints the bell crank and the pitman arm are about the same ways to tighten them and you don't want to over tighten them or make them too loose because if you over tighten it it won't properly turn and if it's too loose there will be slop in the steering wheel we are now going to open up the drag link rebuild kit There's quite a few components in here. There are the dust shields that will go on to the ball joints. The two springs that I talked about. The nuts that will put pressure on to the ball joints, which there, two of them are a bit different and I'll show you which one goes where. The supports that hold the springs in place and the spacers. New zerks for the drag link and cotter pins to hold it all together. First, we are going to take off these old Zerks from the drag link as we are going to replace them with the new ones. We're just gonna unloosen them. And now with the two new Zerks, just clean out the hole a bit here and thread the new ones in. Tighten them down so they're fairly snug and the Zerks are now installed. It's important to have the right orientation of this drag link so it goes in properly. So you see how it has a bend here? You want to have this bend facing this way. This side will attach to the bell crank and this side will attach to the pitman arm, which is this right here. It'll go into this hole 
right here and then it'll attach to the steering box once we get that rebuilt. The first step in the drag link repair is to rebuild the pitman arm section which will attach to the steering box on this end. The pieces we will need to assemble this is a spacer right here which will go into the bottom first and it will ride with this little hole indent on here on the ball then we'll use another spacer here that, which will clamp on like that and then with the spring and the spring holder here we will put them into one another and have the spring pushing against this end and the spacer facing up and the nut threaded in and pushing on the top like that. That's what it will look like in the inside. We will work on the install now. First, we're going to put a little bit of grease on everything just so it has a little bit of grease before we grease it up with the zerk. Oh, just put a little bit of grease on everything. Put the first spacer in with the little groove facing outward. And before we install the pitman arm here, we're gonna put on the dust cover. You will push it on. And then you will insert a rubber and this will keep the grease in. And now we will grease up the pitman arm here. Put the pitman arm into the hole here. Put the other spacer in. First we'll grease it up. Put it so the indent is facing towards the ball joint. Then with the spring pushing against the spacer and the uh, spring insert, push that in next. And then we'll put the nut on a chisel here to tighten this large nut as it's fairly big and it seems to work very well. It's hard to hold the chisel. I use a pair of vice grips and now tighten the nut up until it's all the way down and secure and you can't tighten it anymore. So with this nut all the way tightened now, I will unloosen it half a turn as per the manual so it is in the right setting with the spring. We also want to make sure that the rubber is spinned around before it is finally done. This rubber goes along the plastic here and then once this knot is correctly set you put the cotter pin through. I need to give it a quick tap with a hammer. And then bend up the ends here. And the installation of the pitman arm is complete. All you have to do is fill it up with grease and it is good to go. We are now going to finish the last part of the drag link rebuild. We are going to install this side to the bell crank and there's a few components here and it's a little bit different than the pitman arm. First you're going to have your spring and the spring holder. You'll put it facing this direction like this and you're going to have the other spacer on top with the indent facing outward so the ball rides in this groove. And then lastly, there'll be the nut. And this nut has 
a groove already indented on the physical nut and it will just clamp on like this with the ball in the center and then the cotter pin will go into this groove right here and into the drag link here and it will hold the nut in place. First thing I'll do is put a little bit of grease in all the components here again before I install it. Quick coat of grease on everything and make sure there's no debris on the components. Give it a quick wipe first and now I will pre-install First thing I will install the spring and this plug right here and it will go facing with the plug going down. First thing I will install is the spring. So the spring goes onto the plug like that and the plug facing inward. Push it in. And now you put on the other spacer with the indate facing out towards the ball joint. And I will take you over to the bell crank and we will install this onto the bell crank. I took you guys over to the bell crank now. We're gonna install the dust shield onto the ball. Just pushes on like that and the rubber goes on the same way as the pitman arm and the rubber goes the lengthways like this. And now we will install the drag link to the bell crank. Here is a closer view of the bell crank and we are first gonna grease up the ball. So there's some grease already in there. Just do a light coat for now. And then with the drag link, we're gonna insert it on the back side here. Put it on to the crank. And then with this knot, thread it on. We thread it on until it is tight all tightened all the way down and then back it off half a turn stick the cotter pin in and it's done tighten the nut down with chisel method and to finish it off use the vice grips and chisel method And with it tightened all the way down, you want to back it off half a turn. So just turn it 180 degrees and it is properly set. We're spinning it back 180 degrees. And then find the closest hole to put the cotter pin in. With this nut turned back 180 degrees, you put the cotter pin into the hole and pound these things away from each other and the nut is secure. And the spring is set to the right amount of pressure. Cotter pin bent both ways just to finish it off. Have to put on the rubber seal. That's the same way as the pitman arm with the dust cover all lined up. All you do is just push it on and it will sit in like that, and then I'll keep the dust out of the inside and keep most of the grease in 
taking a step back from the drag link it is properly installed into the Jeep it as you can see the angle on the drag link is pointing down it is installed to the bell crank properly and the pitman arm is now installed it is time to install the pitman arm to the steering box but that will be in a later video thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to let's build a willy's jeep